What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be using one of the coolest grass types of all time that I probably have never used on the rank ladder before. We're using a Blossom Sun team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button to join the Jeans community. Also, your boy is streaming three plus days every single week back on Twitch. Link is down in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We're going to be live streaming three plus days every single week up until the release of Splatoon 3. Then we're going to be grinding some more content, extra hours on the stream over there, and extra content on YouTube. And then we're just going to keep streaming from there. So if you guys want to catch extra content, seriously, head down there. Hopefully you guys pop out, chat it up, say what's up to me. I love seeing you guys pop out to my streams. But uh, let's get started here in that top left corner with the one and only Blossom Pokemon. I love this Pokemon so much. Really, really cool. And I feel like it just doesn't get the love it deserves. It's got Chlorophyll as its ability to double its speed in the sun. It's also rocking a Focus Sash as its item. Then it's got Sleep Powder, Giga Drain for stab and HP recovery, Quiver Dance to set up the stat boost. Then it has Batten Pass too, which is really cool. So I can set up a Quiver Dance with this Pokemon and Batten switch out into a Pokemon like Eternatus, Torkoal, or any other Pokemon on my team to give it their stat boost. So cannot wait to use Blossom and hopefully get to show off that combo right there. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Eternatus over here with Pressure and the Power Herb as its item. It's rocking Dynamax Cannon, obviously, because that is its best item. It's got Flamethrower for coverage, Meteor Beam to be used with that Power Herb, and then it's got Protect for its fourth and final move. Middle left is going to be our Groudon right here with Drought and the Weakness Policy as its item. It's got Precipice Blades, Heat Crash, Iron Head, which you don't get to see too often, so I'm going to be excited to use that, and it's got Protect for its final move. Next Pokemon, Volcarona, right next to him with that Flame Body and that Assault Vest as item. To make it a bit more bulkier on that special attack inside. It's got Heat Wave, it's got Struggle Bug for special attack drops, Overheat for heavy stab damage, especially in that drought, and it's got Hurricane, which for its last move, but I don't really know how I feel about that Hurricane. Considering this is a drought team, chances are drought's gonna be out on the field most of the time, so Hurricane might not be the go to move. But, I mean, if we're going up against a Kyogre team, he sets the rain. Never know, Hurricane could definitely come in clutch, so maybe we'll use it, maybe we won't. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be our second Drought Pokemon, and this Pokemon is really only here for Trick Room. We got Torkoal over here, rocking Drought, just like Groudon. It's got the Safety Goggles as item, and it's got Burning Jealousy, Body Press, Iron Defense, and Protect. But like I said, I feel like both, we have two Drought Pokemons. One is for Trick Room, and one is for without Trick Room. So I guess it really depends what team we're going up against. Final Pokemon we are rocking with is Sylveon, and I recently just used Sylveon in a video and said I haven't used this Pokemon in so long. Now we're using it like back-to-back, -back basically. It's got Pixelate alongside with the choice specs, Hyper Voice, Mystical Fire, Hyper Beam, and Helping Hand for his moveset. Guys, if you want to run this code for yourself, we have to run the code chilling at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Blossom Sun team. Let's get after it, ladies and gentlemen. It is a brand new season, so we are sitting at 0 0 on the season. Let's get ourselves our first win. Let's rock out in this first battle. We're going up against a Kyogre Rain team with Swift Swim, Seismitoad. He has a Malwak for, if I had to guess, probably Trick Room. Then he has Kartana, Wimscott, and Xerneas. Xerneas is kind of scary. I'm not going to sit here and lie because, you know, Xerneas is super, super fast. They can just get a lot of work. So maybe I might bring Double Drought would be good, but I don't know. I don't really know what I want to do. I feel like we bring Blossom, but we could actually lead Blossom without the ground on. Go Blossom, and maybe alongside that, we could go in with a Pokemon like you. You want to be too bad here. Well, Corona, or we can just go Eternatus and try to get off some big damage, especially if he's going to lead a Pokemon, say, like, mm. oh, this is tough. This is tough. I could go in with e Eternatus. I kind of like that. But I got to watch out for that rain. The rain could definitely do me dirty. Rain could definitely do me dirty. So I'm going to lead these two. And then last but not least, we could go Sylveon. I don't mind Sylveon. Sylveon's not too bad. I kind of want to lead Sylveon. Nah, you know, we'll bring Sylveon in the back end. It's choice specs. We'll rock out with it later in the match and see if we can grab ourselves a win with it. But yeah, this... This seems looking tough because he can set up e he's uh what is that? I was gonna say Eternus, but he can set up Xerneas really, really easily, I feel like. But if we can put it to sleep with Blossom, that can also be good. But yo, we got ourselves a banger of question of the day. What are your guys' thoughts on the series 13 rule set? We just got announced randomly that there's going to be a series 13 where you can use mythical Pokemons for basically the, the final seasons of uh of Pokemon Sword and Shield. So it's definitely really, really cool, and I cannot wait to actually pop pop out with that. But let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. But he's going to end up leading Whimsicott and Seismitoad. I can definitely see him swapping. Or maybe just... I can definitely see him maybe just uh, hard swapping. I'm going to put this thing to sleep. And in this case, I might just... actually, Or do I just Dynamax count on the left side? I might just protect you. I think I'm just going to protect this Pokemon. See how this one plays out. I'm just going to protect this. This Eternatus. We'll see what he wants to do here. 
let's see what whimsy does whimsy gonna taunt me size potato is gonna protect so we're gonna see a double protect come out here not a bad turn and what's whimsy going for tailwind maybe she's gonna taunt me so solid little taunt from him i mean i can still giga drain and get off a decent amount of damage that ain't bad that's solid little turn from him but yeah let's just giga drain here and then uh, i could i could go into immediate beam boost your special attack but that size method is scaring me just a little let's just double down the size method here just in case he wants a dynamax we'll send a dynamax cannon his way alongside with a four times super effective giga drain i don't know how much damage this this little booger can do it's a little blossom <laughs> but we'll see we'll see i kind of i probably should check the stats but yeah he is gonna end up dynamaxing and i think he is gonna drop a quake and i think that is gonna take out my eternatus but maybe he just hopefully goes after blossom maybe maybe he will we shall see we shall see. So Sasquatoad so gets that down max. He's not gonna hard swap. I could hard swap next turn, but I feel like this is just gonna be a weather war. I am taunted, which is kinda whack, but let's see how this one plays out here. Let's see how this one plays out. Tail one coming out here. No, he's gonna straight up moon blast. Which I don't mind because both my Pokemon should be faster. Or at least he Eternatus should. Eternatus is really fast. Dynamax hand's gonna poke here. And I might be able to bring myself back up to Focus Ash. Dynamax hand coming in hot. This should do a huge chunk of damage, right? Oh my god, yes. Yo, blossom, go next. Blossom, go next. No, he's going to go next. He's going to take on my Blossom. So he's going to take speed that way. That's totally fine. We get off some big damage. And who could we go into from here? We could go into Groudon. Just Dynamax Groudon. That is definitely an option. I kind of want to do. I kind of want to do. But at the same time, I kind of don't want to do it. Because I could definitely go into like a Pokemon like you. You're not too shabby here, Sylveon. You're not too shabby here. And I could choice into, say, a Mystical Fire. Or not Mystical Fire, a Hyper Voice. And then just maybe protect my Eternatus at this point. I kind of dig that. If I bring... Because say I bring Groudon. Say I bring Groudon, I Dynamax him. He's probably just going to swap in... Oh, we could swap into Kyrie. Then we could Max Guard. I'm kind of with that, actually. Kind of with the Max Guard. But nah, I'd rather save it for Weather Control. We're going to go into Sylveon here. Sylveon, get on out here. Sylveon's gonna get on out here. I gotta watch out for that Max Quake coming in hot. So I think I just go straight into a Hyper Voice here. And then I just go straight into a Protect. Because I'm not dealing with that Max Quake. That Max Quake can just dump on me in one shot. And I'm, dude, I'm super upset that uh that he doubled down into my Blossom. It is upsetting. But we're gonna end up protecting the Eternatus. Let's see what he does from here. He's gotta go for a Quake, right? He's just gonna go straight for a Moon Blast. No way you're doubling down to Sylveon. No way you're doubling down to Sylveon. You gotta be going for a Quake. He's gonna go for a quake. That's gotta be going after. That's gotta be going after Eternatus, right? Yeah, okay, cool. The good thing we did protect. That's exactly what I want to protect. He's gonna get that special uh, defense boost, but Hyper Voice is still gonna be able to take out uh, Seismitoad, and then we still have our Dynamax, which isn't bad. Which isn't bad at all. Which is not bad at all. So we're gonna say bye bye to Seismitoad. We're gonna chip up some damage on the uh, Whimsicott. A lot of damage, actually. That's a good chunk. The Choice Specs doing some Choice Spec definitely doing some Okay, so from here, what do we do? From here, what do we do? Because I'm terrified of a Kyogre coming in hot. I am terrified of it. Yeah, Kyogre's going to come in here. I'm terrified of this. I could Dynamax my Sylveon. Or eat. No, I can't Dynamax the Uh, That is scary. That is definitely scary. I could have him actually pop uh, Weakness Policy. So I'm probably going to swap here. And just uh, Hyper Voice again. My choice specs. And save my Eternatus for the back end. Yeah, I'm going to have him pop Weakness Policy. Then Dynamax him. If I had to guess, he's probably just going to Tailwind. And go into a Water Spout, right? It's got to be his play. So I'll set the drought. We'll take a little bit of damage and we'll Dynamax with like, say, half HP. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Not a bad first battle. This is a solid battle all around. He's going to... Oh, we like that turn. We like that turn all day. I don't mind that turn. I do not mind that turn. He's going to end up tail winning. So we're going to say bye-bye to Wimscott. That's huge. So Wimscott's going to drop out here. I dig it. I dig it all day. And I'm going to Dynamax my Ogre. And now he can't, can't swap. He can't change up weather, which is great. Which is real good news. Which is real good news. So I could start dropping Quakes just for special defense boost. Might be my best bet. And then just keep sending attacks with Sylveon. But Tailwind is a little bit of a pain. I'm not going to see you lie. And Kartana's going to come out here. God dang Kartana. God dang Kartana's going to come out here. Uh, do I get rid of the Kartana? How do I play this one? Obviously, I have to drop a Hyper Voice. We're choosing that. But I can get rid of Kartana. I could definitely get rid of Kartana. Or I could just go straight for that special defense boost. Like I said, I could just use the fire and get rid of that Pokemon. He is kind of a pain. He has the grass moves. Yeah, I think he's got to go, right? His grass and the steel moves. I think we just take him out. I think we just take him out. I'm with this all day. 
I'm with this all day. Yeah, we're just gonna get rid of the Cartana. Hopefully Cartana's not gonna protect. I mean, if it does, I think Sylveon will be able to eat up a shot and actually get off a of Hyper Voice. It's doing a lot of damage, which is beautiful. Like this Sylveon's actually really, really good with the choice spec. And Hyper Voice is just such a good move because it's double hitting. Double hitting, nice little fairy move. I love it. Well, it's normal, but with its ability. Changes into fairy, which is gorgeous. Let's see what he ends up doing. He's gonna end up going for a smart trick. Yeah, I kind of saw that coming from a mile away. And he's gonna take out my Sylveon. So Sylveon drops out here. It is gonna get attack boost. Good thing we are going after that. I don't see Groudon really doing too much damage to me. I think it goes for either an Ice Beam or a Water Move and a proc weakness policy. And that could be good. Yeah, Water Spout's gonna come out here, which does a, oh my God, a heaping amount of damage. But more importantly, we know another Water Spout cannot kill us. And uh, we have weakness policy proc, so that's huge. So we're gonna say bye-bye to Cartana. I doubt this thing's Focus Ash, right? There's no shot it's Focus Ash. So we're gonna say bye-bye to him. Yeah, cool. And it's gonna turn into a 2v1. And we pretty much have this match on lock because Kyogre's strongest move cannot take us out, which is amazing. And then we have you in the back end, which I can just drop a Meteor Beam. I could drop a Meteor Beam for a special attack boost, but what do I do? I mean, how many turns left in Tailwind? Because I could actually take off Tailwind. How many turns is left in Tailwind? Let's see. He's got two, so I might as well attack this turn. And then if I have to protect, I just protect my uh, my boy next turn. But what would do? What would be better off for us to do? Yeah, I think we'll just go into this. Meteor Beam, get that special attack boost, and then just Quake straight into this Pokemon. No need to protect. If we have to protect next turn, we should be fine with that. He's going to go for Water Spout. My boy should be able to soak. Yep, this is gorgeous, and that's going to be GG's. That is a lovely game from your boy Jeans. Getting the season started off strong, 1-0. You got to love it. But Meteor Beam is going to fly out here. Probably do... Would it do half? I'm going to say half on this, right? Maybe even more, yeah. This thing hits pretty hard. I know it's a coverage move, but we really use it just to get that special uh, special attack boost. But he turns this was good, and we made some great plays getting the swaps out and all that. But yeah, about half, like I said. And Max Quake's going to be able to fly here with the weakest policy proc and just say, Kyogre, get on out my game. Your reign is no match for my son. But beautiful match by us, like I said. 1-0 to get the brand new season started. What a strong way to get this season started. 1-0, we're hopping into our second battle though, and we're going up against a really annoying team. And the reason I say it's annoying is because it has the one and only Shed Ninja with the Wonder Guard. Such tough Pokemon, such a cool Pokemon though. Cannot wait to burst it. He's probably gonna be bringing him in. But he also has a Ditto with the Transform. He has the Alga and uh, Grimmsnarl, definitely for Trick Room options. And then he has the Zassian and the Gothitelle. So do we think he's gonna pop a Trick Room? It's definitely an option. It makes me kind of want to bring out uh, what's called in the back end. A Pokemon like Torkoal, but the only Pokemon that pop Trick Room is going to be Gothitelle or or Dialga. So I feel like if I just lead like Groudon and Blossom, we can really roll strong into this battle. But let me check Blossom stats because I actually haven't done that yet. Special attacks okay. It's HP and speed. Speed's really not too shabby, even without the drought. I'm, I'm kind of digging it. I'm kind of digging it. But we could start Quiver Dancing and Bat and Passing out. Which could be definitely a really cool play. But I think we're gonna go with the same squad. I think we're gonna roll out with the same squad, just different lead because he has no way of changing up weather, even if he Dynamaxes. I mean, unless Dialga's rocking a rock move or even an ice move. But other than that, it's fine. That is fine. We are chilling. We are chilling. We are chilling. But let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's go back to back here. Let's go back to back. Hopefully, we can just, like, put somebody to sleep with Blossom and maybe just drop a Blades. Or we can even Quiver Dance this first turn, which could be good for us. But it really depends on who he goes in for a lead. Let's see. He's going to go Dialga and Grimstone. So Grimstone can obviously fake me out. Um, I think I got to drop a Blades. And put the Alga to sleep. I think it's gotta be my play all day, right? Put the Alga to sleep. Drop a blades. Kind of roll from there. Because again, Grimson could fake out, so that's definitely an option. So we'll go straight into the blades, and we will rock. I really want to rock Quiver Dance, but I gotta put the Alga. The Alga's gotta go night night, and I think fake out is gonna come across on one of our Pokemon. So, there's that. So this could actually be. Hopefully, he hits my ground on with a fake out, and my Blossom just says, Ayo, go to sleep. Then I can Quiver Dance and maybe just Dynamax my ground. Which would not be bad, because I would love to Quiver Dance and swap into, like, Sylveon. Woo! Woo! That could, that could be really good, especially if we can get the Alga off the field. Sylveon could do with some absolute work. Let's just see how this one plays. If he's going to end up going for fake out, going to ground on. No, he goes into my Blossom. So we're going to say probably bye bye to Blossom here. He's going to go, for, wow, that thing else speeds my ground on. Hailstorm's going to come out here, and that's going to take me out, isn't it? Can you eat this up? Blossom, please. Dude, Blossom's getting ripped today. Blossom is getting absolutely just mauled. <laughs> just absolutely mauled. That is upsetting. That is upsetting. And it is upsetting that the ground actually outspeeds me like that. Or not the ground. The Dialga outspeeds me like that. I think it shows his orb. Blade's going to fly through here. How much damage are we doing? That's a good chunk of damage. That's a huge chunk of damage. Okay, so from here, what do we do even do? do I, die? I might Dynamax my ground on. Have him proc weak this policy and kind of roll from there. 
I could go into Eternatus. Yeah, because I'll save myself. You know? Yo, like I said, dude, our Blossom's getting ripped. But I love Blossom. I'm trying to showcase it, and it's just getting ripped. Everyone's just targeting it down. Fake out. So first battle, what, what happened to it? It got uh, airstreamed and moonblast after it was taunted. And then <laughs> it got fake out and hailstormed, which is rough. But yeah, I'm definitely going to Dynamax here. Might go for Seal Spike, but I would rather go for Seal Spike because he has a lot of defense or uh, physical attacking Pokemon in the back end. Right? Doesn't he? He does have a lot. He does have a lot. But I would love to get rid of this uh, Dialga here. You know, I'm going to do this. And I'm just going to protect you. I'm just going to protect you, Terrence. I'm just protecting this, this lovely little Pokemon. So, yeah, we're going to die to Max Ground. We're going to get after this battle. Let's see how someone plays out. God dang it, dude. I just want Blossom to go, Ayo, hey, Sleep Powder. See you later. So, I was hoping he was figuring out the ground on, but, you know, what happens. I could have probably Dynamax. I should have Dynamax ground on. Should have Dynamax ground on, but it's a little upsetting that ground on's not fair. Okay. So yeah, see how someone plays out here. I'm just going to protect. Let's see if he's, is, is he guarding? He's not going to guard. He's going to go for a trick. That's gorgeous. We're going to block the trick. And we're going to send, he's going to send a hailstorm. Go over to ground on, please. Rock my policy. Thank you very much. It's not going to do too much damage. And actually, wow, it did a lot more than I thought. Life Orb doing me dirty. Life Orb definitely doing me dirty. I'm going to say bye-bye to Groudon. We'll grant this special defense boost. He's going to bring out Sassy next turn. He's going to trick me. Blah, 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 blah. He has a lot of different things he can do. He has a lot of different things he can do. Man, I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. Special defense boost coming out here. Bye-bye, Diablo. He's going to trick me again. I already know that. So I can't use my Meteor Beam. Got to remember that. Got to remember that. Got to remember that. Because he's going to take my power. Herb. He's going to take my herb. My herby herb. He's taking my herby herb. And he probably has an Iron Ball or a Lagging Tail. Just something stupid. Maybe even a Jack Bond. No, he doesn't have a jack button because we already hit him with a move. So Buffett's flying. I don't like that. It's no bueno. And Zassian's going to come out here, right? It's got to be Zassian. It has got to be Zassian. It's got to be Zassian, right? Yeah, yeah. All that. All that. So Zassian can do a couple different things. Like, I could guard, but I don't know if guarding is going to be the play. Because I think he might read my max guard, right? He might read my max guard, so I might want to double down on Zassian here. I could change up weather, but... Want to do here? I think we're gonna double down Zacian. I think we have to get off some nice damage on them. I think we have to get off some nice damage. He don't withdraw Grimstone. Yeah, double down Zacian's not a bad place. Gonna go into Ditto here. L Ditto, shiny Ditto, which is really cool. It's really cool. And hopefully, he just goes after he turns and I can get rid of that Pokemon. He's gonna, he's gonna be my Groudon, which is hilarious. And he's gonna set the Drought. That, that can make my Flamethrower do a lot of damage. Thank you for the Drought. Thank you for the job. Let's see what he goes for. Zassian's going to go for a blade, and that's got to be taken out of my ground. Thank you. I should have mash guarded my ground on. I think I overthought that. So, ground on's going to drop out here, but still, Flamethrower has a chance to KO. In. And if Flamethrower can pick up the KO here, I kind of like where we're sitting. I don't think we're sitting in a bad spot. I do not think we're sitting in a bad spot. If if this Flamethrower can KO. Flamethrower comes out here. Take him out, please. You got the drought boost. You got the drought boost. You got everything in the world. Let's go. That's a big time KO. We still got Sylveon in the back end. His Grimstar is rather low. And uh, we can get after it. Let's go. Let's go. But again, Groudon is definitely scary. It's definitely a scary Pokemon. So I might have to just protect. I think I'm just going to protect my. Uh, I think I'm just going to protect my Eternatus. I think he's going to try to trick me and go into a Blades. And then I can use Hyper Voice to get rid of Grimstar. And then uh, have Eternatus be able to outspeed Groudon. So yeah, we're just going to protect. We're going to go into the Choice Spec. Hyper voice, and we're gonna roll from there. So yeah, we're just gonna protect him. We could be going for a fake out. He does have fake out ready to roll. He does go for a fake out. Oh no, not in my Sylveon. Leave me alone. Blade's gonna come out here. Who dodging it? Dodge it, Sylveon. Dodge it, Sylveon. Dodge it. Dang it. Does not dodge it. And we go out to it. Just drops me instantly. Dang it. That's tough. That's real tough. Cause he's just gonna trick me and get after me. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul a lot. Hurts the soul. So I think the one thing that we need to do, I think he needs to miss a Blades. If he misses a Blades, we have a shot here. He's going to trick me. And of course, why'd I go into the, uh, why'd I go into that, um, that move right there? He's going to give me the Iron Ball and the Power Herb. And he's probably going to land it anyway. Let's see. Yeah, he lands that. That's taking us out 10 times out of 10. And that is going to be GG. Rough second battle. Definitely a rough second battle. We didn't play too bad there, but he just faked out the Sylveon at the perfect time. 
Third and final battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves this winning record with this Blossom team and show off this Pokemon a little bit more. This guy's rocking Kyogre. He also has the Venusaur, and then he has Sableye, who, if I had to guess, is rocking Sunny Day just because of, you know, uh, him having Venusaur. There's no way he's, he's rocking Venusaur without his son. And then he has Zacian, My Shao, and then Dragonite as his final Pokemon. Uh, how should I go into this? I'm thinking of going Groudon and Blossom. I don't think it's too shabby. I mean, he might lead Venusaur on top of that, but in that case, I could just Dynamax and kind of get it after him. Or well, I could go a Pokemon like Torkoal and make it a little bit slower, but I don't think we would get that much value out of Torkoal. So we're going to go Blossom. We're going to go Groudon. We're definitely going to be bringing in. I feel like Sylveon could do a lot of work up against My Shao. And I think we're just going to go same squad this whole battle. I just like this team right here. And then he turned to Scott to come in the back end. Let's run it. Let's run it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. But yeah, that last battle, we definitely could have won if he didn't fake out our Sylveon. It was a solid play by him to pick out our Sylveon and fake him out. But if he didn't fake out my Sylveon, my Sylveon would have been able to drop a Hyper Voice, take out the Grimmsnarl, and then my Eternatus and the Sylveon probably would have been there for a little 2v1 situation. Because I think my Sylveon might have been able to eat up a Blades without that fake out damage on it. But it was really close. He's going to end up going in these two. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad. He's probably just going to fake me out. Um, I could Dynamax. I could definitely Dynamax. And I'm curious if uh, Dragonite's physical or special attacking. A lot of them are physical, but you never know sometimes. You never know. So in this case, I might just drop a Blades. I kind of want to drop a Heat Crash and get rid, of, get rid of this Focus Ash right here. But he's definitely faking out my uh, my Sylveon, right? Or not my Sylveon. My Blossom. And he might actually Dynamax and just go straight into a uh, an Airstream. What do I want to do? That Dragon could do work on me. I'm gonna go for sleep powder on him. If I can, but dude, this is tough. This is tough. He's gotta fake out my blossom. He's gotta fake out the blossom. He'll leave my blossom alone. I've been trying to use blossom all day today. And he just keeps getting faked out in airstream. Here it is. You get him on out of here. Hate this game. Wish I had protect. I wish I had protect instead of bat and bass, because I definitely would have protected this shot. So there's that. It hopefully, just hopefully, he goes after my ground on with fake out and we can put this Pokemon to sleep. And I can get rolling with my blossom. I love me some blossom. Such a cool Pokemon. Such a cool Pokemon. Here comes the fake out. No, he does not fake out. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. We put the Dragonite to sleep. And he's going to coach it. We like that turn. I don't mind that turn. I do not mind that turn. I do not mind it. He crash coming in hot. Dolly. Bang. Bring that thing down to Sash. And what do we do from here? What do I do from here? I'm thinking of just that's his first turn of sleep. That is his first turn of sleep. So I'm really thinking of just going into like here. And then oh no no no. I don't know what I want to do. But yeah, 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 I'm thinking of just doing that. Or you know, I could just go into a heat crash on him, take off multi-scale. It's a multi-scale Pokemon. Uh I could get rid of you in this quiver dance. Exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna quiver dance while this thing's asleep. And maybe just bat and pass into my Sylveon eventually. That's not a bad play. As long as that, that Dragonite doesn't uh wake up. He's gonna coach him again. He's indeed gonna coach him. Please be asleep. We actually outspeed that thing, which is awesome. It's actually huge. It's actually real big. And he is still asleep. That's huge. So do I go for another Quivy? Do I go for another Quivy here? Or do I just bat and pass out? I really want to go for another Quiver Dance, but he's going to go into the Kai Ogre. He's going to take a bit more speed here. I'm Quiver Dance up. Uh, I'm scared of the Water Spouts. The Water Spouts are definitely deadly. I could put that thing in sleep. And just hard swap. To a different Pokemon. Which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to hard swap it into his Pokemon like Eternatus or so. And then just putting him to sleep if I can. It's tough. That thing's quick. That thing's quick. But I think uh, Blossom should be able to outspeed it with that plus one on the speed board. Yeah, we're just going to swap the ground on. We're going to hope maybe we can get off a, th a three-turn sleep from Dragonite. And we're just going to go from there. That thing's coached up like crazy. Pressure's coming out and about. And Blossom, just outspeed, please. Blossom does not outspeed. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul because it's going to be a ridiculous amount of damage. Actually, good work, guys. They soaked up rather well, especially Blossom. They had the special defense boost. Now I go for a sleep powder. We're going to put Kyger. So we're going to say night-night to him. And I could hard swap. I could bat and pass out. Hopefully, this dragon to sleep for one more turn. That'd be amazing. No, it woke up, and here comes an airstream. That's gonna take out my blossom. That hurts soul. The blossom's dead. Mm. 
That hurts. So Blossom goes out for the count. Uh, probably bring back out. Probably got to bring back out what's called, right? Ground on. And get after the battle. Dynamax at. Okay, so not bad. Not bad with a. Uh, oh, Sylveon. Sylveon's not too shabby, but he can do a lot of work on me. I'm going to save my Sylveon. I think we just go into here and have them proc my policy. Right? Is that her playing Dynamax U? Too shabby. It's not too bad. But that Dragonite is kind of annoying me. That Dragonite is rather annoying. It's plus two on attack. It's plus two on attack, plus two on defense. And then on top of that, it has plus one speed. That thing is rather annoying. This is going to be a tough battle for us. But Blossom didn't do too bad. I wish that uh, that thing didn't wake up there and take me out. But yeah, I got to protect you, right? I mean, it's only plus one on speed. And we might be able to... Mm. I don't know. We're just going to go for medium. I'm gonna meter beam that down. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna Dynamax. I'm just gonna quake right into this Try to get rid of that. Kyger's pain. Draws Kyger. What are you going for? What are you swapping into here? Zassian. Okay, so we'll say bye bye to Zassian. I like that turn all day. I like that turn all day. So we get rid of Zassian for free. Hopefully, Dragonite goes after Groudon. I would love, because Dragonite goes after Groudon. That means we get off a meter beam. I know Multi Scale is gonna be able to help it soak it up a little bit, but still, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. So Zassian's 100% gone, unless somehow Dragonite can take out my add-on. But I don't really see how we can do it. He is plus two, I gotta remember. He's gonna be able to hit like a truck. He's gonna be able to hit like an absolute menace. The Meteor Beam's gonna come out here and it outspeeds. That is gorgeous. That's what I was hoping to. The Meteor Beam can outspeed it. I don't think it's gonna kill a dude in multi-scale, but still, it should be able to chip over a decent amount. So it's good to know that, uh, that he turns his, is faster. The Meteor Beam comes flying out here. Hopefully, it doesn't miss. It does not. Gorgeous. And yeah, probably about half damage, I guess. A lot more than half. God dang, multi skill. Helping him soak up. That's going to happen. He's going to go for Dragon Call. He's going to take me out. The Dragon Call definitely takes me out. He's terrified. I think he's terrified. But more importantly, we get rid of the Zassian. Zassian is 100% gone. We have our Dynamax turns and we're thriving out here. So, Blossom doing pretty good in this final battle. I just wish I would have gotten off like one more turn. But I did have Quiver Dance. I did have Quiver Dance rolling. I did have Quiver Dance rule. But yeah, but Quiver Dance actually helped us outspeed uh, some Pokemon like Kyogre and put him to sleep. That, that was solid. Too bad. That wasn't too bad. But I have to go into Sylveon here. And Sylveon poses a big threat. It poses a big, big threat. And I think, yeah, he's just going to go into Kyogre. Kind of cool with that. But Kyogre's definitely asleep this next turn. That's a big time place for us. So at this point, I just hyper voice, right? And uh, Quake over onto the ground. Or do I set the weather? Or do I set the weather? What could his final Pokemon be? Do I know it? No, these are his final Pokemon. Ooh! Yeah, Hyper Voice coming in hot. Coming in hot, and then we just, uh... Do I steal Spike over in him? Just get that defense boost? No, I think I just Quake. Get off as much damage as I can. Because if Dragonite goes out here, Kyogre is special attacking. So he's going to go for Extreme Speed, and that's GG's. That just wants the game. But I know that wasn't killing us. Did a lot of damage, but I knew it wasn't killing us. That's GG's, baby. Hyper Voice flying out here. Run it. See you later, Dragonite. Chipping up some nice damage on the Kyogre. Dude, look how much damage that does. The specs? The choice specs with the Sylveon is amazing. It's so strong. Kyogre's going to be able to drop a Quake. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. That is how we counter a plus two coaching Dragonite. Which counter that really, really hard. Thanks to Blossom. Putting some Pokemon to sleep, and we wasted out a lot of his Dynamax turns. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A winning record for the brand new season and a winning record with this Blossom team. I absolutely love it. We got the showcase for the Pokemon. We didn't use Volcarona or Torkoal, but it's all good. Those are Pokemon we definitely showcased in the past. I was just really happy we got Blossom out there and this Choice Spec Sylveon and showed them off really, really well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos going on. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.